Just to the west of the mighty Mississippi, we're at the home of the Cardinals, Bush Stadium in St. Louis. Game number three of this new season between the Chicago Cubs and the St. Louis Cardinals. Stay tuned for Cardinals baseball next. Kurt Simmons gets the assignment for the rubber match in this series. What do we need to know here, HR? Matt, last year this guy was one of the best pitchers in baseball. The ERA in the low twos. You know how good that is? And the thing I like about it, that tells me he's going to throw strikes when he needs to. He's going to get ahead of hitters. And he's going to have another solid game going deep in the game. So hopefully the he can carry that into this game as well. We'll get a chance play. to really see him Ernie. work at his best. Now with the plate, Ernie Banks. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. And a swing and a miss on the game's first pitch as we are underway here this afternoon. Harold Reynolds, we take a look at this Cardinals ball club as they enter play here this afternoon. They come into this one in good spirits, fresh off their first victory of the new campaign last time out. Yeah, Matt, they won the game last night, and I talked to the manager earlier, and he just said, you know, we executed it, and if we can do that, we'll be a consistent team, and we'll win games. Great execution. You hit it where it's thrown, right? That ball's thrown right up the middle. He hit it right back up the middle. A lot of hits in the middle. In now, Roberto Pena, hey. as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls in a strike. Nobody out, runner on first. And he pumps the fastball by him at 94. It's 0-2. That's a well-placed fastball right there. Just off the outside. If you can get guys to expand the strike zone and go after that pitch, you're going to have a lot of success. No luck that third. time, though. With that, a look at the Cubbies' starting Cubby. lineup. Harold, Brilliant. what's the key for him against one of the best starters in the game? Well, the key to this game, Matt, is going to be the contributions throughout the whole entire lineup. You cannot rely on that key guy on the team, the big star. No, everybody's got to contribute. If they do that, they'll win this game. Digging in now, Billy Williams is coming off a three-hit performance in the loss last night. Flood is in pursuit, makes the play, and there are two gone now. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Into four. the box now, Third number baseman. 10. He number readies 10. for his first plate appearance. First pitch on its way. And this one's in the dirt. And he'll make it into scoring position here with two away as that'll be scored a wild pitch. I think this all stems from the fact that they're trying to make sure the guy at the plate doesn't hurt them at all. And with that base open at first, they might opt to just put him on. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Foul back. Oh, right there. Sometimes you can just miss a ball. Doesn't mean you have to swing and miss, but that ball is right in this wheelhouse, and he didn't square it up the way he'd like to. He missed it. Here's another one, too. Now he drops a changeup on him. Strike three called, and a great pitch there to retire the side. Cubs strand one. It's the Cubs nothing. Cards coming up. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Number 34 starts the game on the mound for the third and final game of the series. Harold, what do you got? Well, he's got four pitches Leading to off, work with and uses them all at uh, all different fielder. times in the game. Blue so he keeps wrong. hitters off balance and gives you a lot to think about. Hit in the air out toward left. Altman is there. One pitch, one out. Now a moment here in St. Louis second. to look at the Cardinals Better starting fielder. lineup. Danny, any Kurt. thoughts? Well, Matt, keep an eye on that number two spot. He's such a great talent, the kind of talent that can dominate a game, a, a perennial all-star, and win some awards. 
He's one of the best in the game today, and he's always fun to watch. HR, the Cubs, as they take the field here this afternoon, it's official now. They will not go 162 and 0 as they were handed their first loss of the season last time out. Yeah, last game, they just didn't play well. They gave up a lot of runs, really sloppy. So when you play that sloppy, you're not going to win games. Well, they got him in the rocking chair right now. A little change up, follow up with the fastball. And he's a little late with that swing. I may go back with another change up. Williams back in plenty of time to put this away however and there are two gone third, third baseman. at the Ken plate Ken Boyer. Boyer first cuts for him here with the bases open and two away high in the air out to center field Landrum is there and that ends the inning down in order go the Cardinals and this is still a nothing nothing ball game. Stepping into the box number 18 out for the Cubs. ready to get his day Second at the plate baseman. started right here number heading out towards shallow right Skinner is over a few steps toward the line and he has it for the first out. Time for a look at the majestic Center defensive Hilder. alignment for the Cardinals. Done. I want to look at their outfield play. Man, they have been so good, but the left fielder in particular, he catches everything. Sure-handedness, and he throws to the right base and hits the cutoff. He's just fundamentally sound. Well, he fouled that breaking ball off a little bit early. Timing not quite there. Had a fastball to pitch before. He just got out in front of that breaking ball. Another one sent foul. Here comes another 0-2. Curveball that time, not even close. Well, I think that pitch is the result of a lot of foul balls. He might have tried to do a little bit too much with it, trying to get him to swing through it, but it just ended up taking off on it. Well, he had two strikes on the hitter, perfect count to put him away. Tried to elevate the fastball, just didn't get it up there enough. Number 25. Into the box, number 25. Oh, and here's a fastball right down the middle of the plate that swung on and hit onto deep left field, and this one's not coming back. This is a long home run, and good for him. Chris has just launched his first major league home run. Hard to say how many more of these he'll hit in his career, but for now, I'm sure he's happy to say he's got at least one. Well, I think that any kid who's ever dreamed about playing this game dreams exactly this. Watching the ball disappear over the fence, then circling the bases in a big league ballpark. He'll be replaying that at bat over and over in his head. And now his phone's going to blow up. He'll be calling his parents, his buddies. Everybody's going to be talking about this one. Now a swing and a miss, and things are not looking real promising here. Down 0-2. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. It's never easy to rebound after serving up a two-run shot, but that at bat was a good indication to me George that he isn't Altman. letting it get to him. He went right after him for the strikeout. Here's the first pitch to him. George hey. Altman is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Now here's the pitch. Off the plate, one, one. one ball, one strike. And here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. Here's the one and two delivery. And this is going to be a foul ball. Reaches out for one and hits it on the ground to second. Scooped up. Throw in time and the side is retired. Two for the Cubs in the inning on the strength of this two run home run. We'll go to the bottom of the second. It's now 2 0 Chicago. Into the box, Bill White comes off Leading an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. First baseman, Bill White. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Bat explodes as this has popped up. Pena is there for it, and that's the first out of the inning. All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Cubs. Number 26. In this day and age, when teams are moving all over the place playing the shift, these guys are old school, very traditional. You don't see the shift applied very often to this club. 
drilled right back up the middle and that is through into center field for a one out single. Well that's good hitting. Oh and oh you want that fastball right where you're looking at it. Just take it right back at him. Right nice swing. Bob Skinner. Standing in Bob Skinner first shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Runner goes for second a pitch out the throw. And even a pitch out can't do the trick he's in there at second. So he swipes second despite the pitch out. Yeah it seemed like everyone in the building knew he was going to be running there right. Didn't make a difference though he got a great jump and absolutely burned it down to second to get in safely. Here it comes one and oh. Swinging a ball hit on the ground but a foul ball one and one. From the stretch. On the ground up the middle backhanded. And a great athletic play to get him man. Wow. Stepping up to the plate, seven. number 11. Second, He'll take front. his first hacks number here. 11. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hit down the third baseline. And that's a fair ball as this one gets by him at third. And the runner from third scores as they try and work their way back into this one. It's now a two to one ball game. A great look of the famous gateway arch here this afternoon 630 feet high and a symbol of this great Midwestern city sends that one out of play for strike one. Oh and two now as a curveball drops in there for a strike. Here comes the nothing and two pitch. Fastball called strike three and there's the first out of the inning just flat out frozen there nothing too deceptive about that four seam fastball so I think he wasn't Roberto expecting it at all Pena. Roberto Pena is at the plate as he takes a cold strike one well he is working fast and he wants that quick inning just throwing a lot of strikes right now oh one again I think he comes right after him and makes him swing the bat and he just misses with a curveball tried to backdoor him and lock him up with a curveball right there pretty good pitch but he didn't quite get it to come back all the way to the corner. That's tough to do for most guys. And this is swung on and missed his fifth strikeout already. And there are two gone in the inning. Pretty impressive back to back strikeouts to start the inning. What's even more important is now he gets to face the middle of the order without anybody on base for them to drive in. Billy Williams is at the plate now and he takes a cold strike. Now he breaks out the hook here. Good for strike two. See what happens when you work fast, you stay aggressive, and you come right after guys. Man, you get great results. Two quick outs, and now he's 0-2 on this hitter. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right, so we'll try it again at 1-2. and two. Again, he sends it out of play. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He is fortunate he just fouled it off. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. And they'll try to get him fishing there but he won't offer in the dirt and it's back to even at two and two. This guy's a good hitter. He's seen a lot of pitches already foul and, and we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Now to the plate number 15. It was a Leading two hit effort for him including a home run Catcher. in last night's game. Number 15. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And the first pitch is chopped foul right at home plate at strike one. And this is sliced hard down the left field line and that gets down and ought to be good for extra bases. Around first he's digging for second and he will make it there as the Cardinals get a man into scoring position on the leadoff double. So with your pitcher do it next you can either have him bunt or you can even think about having him show bunt to draw the corners in and then let him swing away. Depends on how much confidence they have in him with a bat in his hands. Digging in Kurt Simmons as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Runs up to bunt here, but he missed it for strike one.
from the belt. Kicks and deals. Now a bunt attempt here. And he'll lunge forward to make the catch for the first out. Up next for the Cardinals. Striding in once Bob again. Lou Lock. 0 for Lock. 1 here in the early going. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Softly hit out to short. And that'll be the second out. Digging now in to try it again. Kurt Flood 0 for 1 for him here in this one. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Good swing, just got to try and straighten that one out. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Now a ball hit in the air to straight away left. This is carrying well out of here. It's a two run shot to straight away left. Second home run early in the year, and it's given the Cardinals a 3 2 lead. This guy's hot right now. Hit a bomb yesterday and hit another tape measure shot today. When he gets hot, he hits him in bunches. This could be the beginning of one of those extended hot streaks. Now Stepping in now, Ken baseman, Boyer. Ken As he'll go Boyer. after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Bases are empty here with two men out. Line toward the gap in left center. And that'll get down out there near the wall. He's through first and hustling for second. And he will pull into second with a two out double. Now batting. So now time will be called as we're going to get a visit from the pitching coach here as he'll hope to settle his guy down. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Bill White. From the stretch. And that's in there, base hit. Boyer rounds third and is digging for the plate. And a relay home, the tag, but it's not in time at the plate as he scores to make it four to two. Now batting. So striding number forward 26. now, number 26, trying to keep things going now with a runner at first following the RBI single. A pitch out. The... And boy, even a pitch out can't slow him down. He's in there at second base. Has a look, now the pitch. High in the air into shallow left center. Altman is after it. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. But they strike for three in the inning, two on this two-run home run. We're through three here in the Gateway City. It's now a 4-2 St. Louis lead. Into the box now, number 10 comes into this at bat, 0 for 1 in the ball game. Number and 10. he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. Matt, I tell you what, I love how he's pitching right now. He has continued to pound that first pitch for strikes. When you do that, you set yourself up for great success. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Flood is on the warning track as he hauls it in for a loud out number, number one. 18. Number 18 is next as he finds himself behind 0 and 1. Here we are in the middle of the game and he's 90 percent on the first pitch strike throwing strikes 90 percent. Forget about it you do that you got no chance of hitting this guy. He still might be looking for that release point on that curveball early in this outing. That will look like it popped out of his hand behind his ear instead of out front. We'll see if he finds that pitch because it'll be important for him. So it was a swinging strike three. Him? Number 18 field, goes down for Don out number Lee two Landrum. in the top half. Don Landrum is at the plate now and he's quickly behind 0 and 1. And they go away here. It's a cold strike. Nothing in two. Two out, nobody on. 
And he struck him out his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Three up, three down for the Cubs. Leading off the fourth inning, right fielder, Bob Skinner. First delivery to him on the way. Hit hard up the middle, and that finds its way through for a base hit. So it's a base knock to lead off their half of the fourth. Another first pitch hit. Man, they're going up there aggressive, looking for that first pitch Number fastball. 11. He's struggling right now, and they are feasting. Into the box now, number 11. As a good changeup will get him to commit too early, and it's strike one. He was cut down at second, attempting to stretch a base hit his first time through. He's running towards second. Pitch inside the throw. Is there, and he's out trying to take second. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. This one's down to third. Throw to first will get him. Already two away here in the home fourth. The batter. Digging in for 15. his second at bat, number 15. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Now a line drive that's going to be caught out there at short. Needed just a little more height on that one, but instead the inning is over. Trying to pick things up where he left off, off for the number 25. Patrick. And remember, number he hit that two-run homer his first time up. The pitcher is acting innocent, but I saw it in real time, and my first thought was he number did that 34. on purpose. These pitchers can paint the black inside and out, make the ball move up and down. So a lot of times when you see a guy get hit in that spot, there was some kind of message behind it. We'll see what that leads to the rest of this game. White is there, and he'll bring this one in. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Now batting. So striding up in, George, George Altman. Altman. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. Man, he's got a good fastball. Ball, he it. showed it off right there. He blew it right by him. We've seen this before. Fastballs in, then breaking balls away. That's been his plan of attack throughout the first half of this game. 4-2 our score here as we play inning number five. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ball game for him. Man, they've really had his number so far in this series. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Ernie Banks is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. Oh, he reached back and challenged him right there. I, I like that. Early in the count. Here it is, big fella. I know. Well, the left fielder's on it, and that retires the side. One left for the Cubs. Still down by a count of four to two. Coming to the plate now, Kurt Simmons. He'll start things Patrick. out in the home half Kurt of inning number five. Simmons. And that swung on and missed for strike one. Matt, he's throwing a lot of strikes. Very impressive, right? We just saw a swing and miss. But he may be even more effective if every now and then he throws a ball that's out of the zone because they know he's in the zone. They're being really aggressive. If they have to think a little bit, might not be a strike. It might be good for him. Well, they thought the inning was going to be set up nice. The pitcher's leading off. You'll get a quick out. Instead, he gets a base hit, and now here comes the top of the order. Look out. Digging in once again, Lou Brock, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. And this is fouled at the plate. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2.
on its way the 0 2 pitch and this is fouled back and out of play. Well that's three foul balls in a row. He's definitely battling up there. The next 0 2. And here's a ball hit in the air. Number 10 backs up a bit and he takes charge for the first out. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up in the zone. Center they took fielder. him up the ladder and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop out. Well executed pitch there. In now, Kurt Flood. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Four runs, eight hits, and no errors so far for the Redbirds. Hit the other way out toward right field. Williams has a play. And he makes the catch for the second out. Digging in and looking for more. Ken Boyer, one for two with a double on his line thus far. First pitch coming, here it is. I had him lunging at that one out of the zone, and that's strike one. Well, Matt, if I use the cliche, it's not how you start, how you finish, it would apply right now. A couple innings ago, he had a rough inning. Didn't look good. But now he's starting to settle in a little bit better. He may be able to get through this thing. Landrum will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. Digging in once again, Roberto Pena. And at this Leading point of the, the game, I think it's clear Shots that up. the plan of attack hey, against Roberto the top of the order Pena. has worked. Well, when you've only surrendered one hit to the top three guys in the order up to this point in the game, you know you're doing something right, Matt. You're spot on. Whatever they discuss coming into this game has worked out beautifully. Well, he persevered right through it. Now, he's 0 for 2 before this base hit right here with two strikeouts. Man, this makes him feel good now. Now he's getting that confidence and a little swagger back. Billy Williams stands in for the third time now as he takes a look at a ball. It's 1-0. And a fastball in there for a strike, one and one. Ground ball right side. The second for one. On to first to complete the double play. Now Sharply hit here, but right at the first baseman coming off the bag. He makes a good throw, and they complete the three, six, one double play with the throwback to the pitcher at first. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Number 10. No one on base for him after the double play. Yeah, and that, that two ball really changed the complexion of this inning. For the second time, it looked like the middle of the order was going to have a chance to get a big hit with some ducks on the pond, but now they just have to try and get a two-out rally started. Line shot to third, and the side is retired. Cubs are down. Your Bob attention, please. Humphreys now enters to do the Chicago. pitching in the bottom of the Number sixth. 36. And it looks like the Cubs Bob will get a left-hander up and working out of the bullpen. Bill White is in to start things off as he looks at a ball to start the inning 1 and 0. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Landrum giving chase. Makes the play one away. The batter. Ready for another shot now. Number 26. A hit in two tries so far. Now a swing and a ground ball. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. The knee buckler and he swings and misses at it. That looked like he was cheating for that fastball inside right there. Early swing. Got out in front of that off speed pitch. Clearly looking for a fastball. In there. A base hit. Well, I tell you, Matt, right there, man, that, that was an interesting play because the defense the is playing right so deep, 19. they're playing no doubles. I just Bob feel like if they were in at a normal depth, they would have caught that ball. Now a throw over to first, and he'll dive back in safely. And again, a throw. Oh, and it throws him, and they got him. Standing in now, Bob Skinner, as he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. We're in the sixth inning now of a four to two ball game. And a slider just about gets away from him there as it runs in a bit too close for comfort. 
hit back up the middle. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Nothing doing there for St. Louis. Welcome back to Bush Stadium here in St. Louis. Seventh inning upon us with the Cardinals out on top, and it's time to check Getting out the, the game cup. summary to see how Second we got here. Number, Number 18. 18 is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0-1. Looks at a curveball over the inside corner. That's so difficult to hit. Hard fastball and a nasty curveball. You just have to sit on one or the other and hope he throws the one you're looking for. Hit on the ground to third. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. How about him? That's Digging in to try it again. Don, Don Landrum. Landrum. He singled in two trips hey. to the plate thus far. In there, and it's 0 and 1. The wind up and the 0 1. Deep right up. over the top with that curveball, and it's 0 and 2. Well, he got the leadoff guy in the inning on a ground out, and now he's 0 and 2 to start this at bat. He looks really sharp so far to start the seventh. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch number out. 25. Don Landrum goes down for out number two in the top half. Into the wind up, here comes the 0 and 1. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. This guy's one of the great pitchers in the game. When he's pitching from 0-2 counts, hitters don't have a chance. Two runs, four hits. No errors so far for the Cubbies. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. Cubs are down in order. It's Still down by a count of four to two. Philly Hoff will come on in relief as he'll make his second appearance of the season so far. Number 40, Philly Hoff. Now catching and batting in the eighth spot. Number eight. Striding in once again, number 11. He's one for Leading two in the ballgame. Second baseman, number 11. Breaking ball that's cut on and missed for the first strike. 0 oh and 1, here it comes. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. Boy, he juked him out of his shoes with that changeup. Stood almost no chance of doing anything with it, but it probably looked good coming in. And there's a base hit, so a chance for some insurance here to start out the home half of the seventh. Well, he started off with a couple pitches soft and then soft, and then he came back with a hard now, fastball okay. right there. Number he was clearly 15. sitting fastball the whole A-B. Couldn't trick him with the heater. First pitch on its way. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Landrum going back on it. Gone! So a two-run shot to left center. Second home run early in the year as they open it up to 6-2 to two now. You think it's easy to be a pitcher at this level? Well, when the number eight hitter takes you deep, you know there's no such thing as an easy out. Digging in and looking for more, Kurt Simmons. He's been great on the mound, so we'll see if he can do something with the bat here as well. He's earned a chance to take this at bat. Yeah, Matt, when a guy's throwing the ball as well as he has, it kind of forces the manager's hand to stay with him. He's been exciting to watch, and he's really had this crowd behind him the entire game. Fly ball to straightaway left. Altman waits on it. He's got it one away. Now batting left fielder Lou ready once Brock. again Lou Brock into the windup and the pitch and the first pitch is chopped foul at the plate at strike one. Here's the 0 1 pitch boy he comes back with a beautiful pitch there and he's dominating this at bat it's 0 2 now and now a pitch on the way. And this ball's chopped foul at the plate, and that'll hold the count at 0-2. I like the pitch right there. Got it to chase a fastball out of the zone. I'd come back with it again. A swing and a miss. He offered it a ball way outside the strike zone for out number two. It's so hard to hit when you're behind now the count 0-2, right? Center you have fielder. to protect for the fastball. Turn. You have to Come look on. for the soft stuff down and away. You're really at a disadvantage when you fall behind 0-2. 
Kurt Flood will stride in. But first, we take you back to the third as you take another look here at his two run homer that had him rolling early on. Hit hard back up the middle. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. So he picks on the first pitch here and is able to extend the inning. Stepping now, up to the plate, Ken Boyer. Ken Boyer. He's set. Here it comes. Smoked on the ground left side. And that's through for a hit. He was sitting on that fastball. You can't tell me he was at first pitch fastball first and he turned on it like that. 12. Nice job. Bill White. Into the box. Bill White. Hit swung on and missed the throw. Not in time. And how about that for Daring? It's a two out double steal. And ball four here on the intentional walk. So now they'll have a force at any base with two gone. At the plate, number 26. Eighth batter of the inning now with the bases loaded and two away. Hoping to limit the damage, here's the pitch. This is in the air out to right. Williams moves over. And that ends the inning. But the cards do strike for two, both coming on this two-run dinger. We're through seven this afternoon. It's now six to two. At the plate, number eight. He leads off their half of the eighth, and they've been gone. unable to get that Patrick. starter out of the game number to this eight. point. Yeah, he settled in early on the mound, partly due to the lead his guys gave him to take some of the pressure off. He's taken that and pitched very effectively How in this one. Left fielder, George. Into the Altman. box now, George Altman, 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. And this is bounced foul at the plate, and that moves the count to 0-2 now. Well, he's out in front of that breaking ball right there. Not surprised. That was after that fastball. Nice job of pitching. Kind of keeping him off balance. Got him swinging on the fastball there. George Altman the is sent packing for the second out of the inning. Digging in now, Bernie Banks. Two away here in the eighth, and time's running out on him, Danny. Yeah, they don't have a lot of outs left to work with, so it's time for some. And the right fielder is there to make the catch, and the inning is over. Three up, three down for the Cubs. They still trail here. It's six to two. Number 32 takes the mound now as he's been called Chicago. upon to pitch. Number 32. Ready for another chance. Bob leading Skinner. He'll Lewis. see what he can do leading off right the home fielder. eight. Bob Skinner. This one's flared toward left center. Altman comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for route number one. Now about it. Into the 11. box. Number 11. He's looking for hit number three here in this at bat. Hard liner but picked up on a hop. Throw in time at first for route number two. Now batting. Number Cubs 15. have someone working in their bullpen now as a right hander's begun to get loose. This is line to left. And that'll get down for a two out single. So at the very least, that two out base hit will prevent the pitcher spot from leading off the next inning. The well, he hit that 31. ball hard. He's been seeing the ball great. That right there Seven. now makes him three for four in the evening. Really swinging the bat. Number 23. We'll get the and call here as he'll. Number 23. And prior to the first pitch, he'll look to first. And he'll get back in safely. Runners off for second. Pitch misses low. The throw down. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. The 1 0 delivery. Hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. Landrum has it in his tracks. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. One left. For 
number 34. We'll take the ball Al now is the, the new Cardinals. pitcher. Number 34. Roberto Pena is in to start things out as he swings and misses at that one at strike one. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Flood has a beat on it, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. In now, Billy Williams. Billy Williams. Too low, 1-0. One, one out, nobody on. This ball will be chopped foul. One and two. Heavy sinker just stayed inside. That pitch right there, he's trying to keep him from getting his arms extended. If it's out over the plate more, he can obviously do a lot of damage with it. And look out. That's in very tight, and it's ball four. So coming to the plate, number 10. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. And then that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound, but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Misses, ball two. Well, that's what you want from your... Pitch runs in on him here, and all he can do is flare one foul off to the right side. Cardinals are going to get something going in the bullpen now as a left-hander has begun to get loose. Neither guy given in. Here's the next one. Shot toward right center, and that'll split the gap as it should be extra bases. Williams is on his way home. The runner from first crosses the plate, and he will pull into third with an RBI triple. Here's another look at it right now here as he batting. drives it right between Number the 18. two outfielders, heading towards the right center field wall. He was flying out of the box, so I think he was thinking triple all the way. By the time they get it back in, he's safely into third. Ready with the 0-2. He got him, and it'll probably take a base hit now to get that runner across from third. And with strike three recorded there, he's now notched his first career major league strikeout. Well, Matt, if he can become a consistent strikeout pitcher, you have to figure his career is going to end up being a solid one. All the best pitchers at this level have at least... And a step on first for the out, and the ball game is over. Hey, it always feels good to win a baseball game, but when you can win one at home in front of your home crowd, all those fans cheering, this is a good win for this team. Six to three. The